Hi guys, happy Friday. Today is Friday, April 5th, and it's currently 9.21 in the morning. Um, I'm heading out because I have my Botox appointment this morning. The last time I got it done was like the first week of December, I think, and it is um, April now. My wedding is next month. I was actually set to get my Botox touched up at the end of April, but due to some things, I had to get it done earlier than planned but that's okay so I'm on my way to get that done right now and then come home and spend the day studying for pathology like seriously sitting down studying I'm gonna put my phone away I'll film a little bit but I just need to study and get better on that information yeah that's my plan so I will check in with you guys later and I hope that you have a wonderful Friday okay bye this like the bumps and stuff will go down but yeah i'm gonna head to my tanning salon now and if it's open i'm gonna try the red light therapy so i will check in with you guys in a little bit and let you know how all of that goes Hi guys, happy Sunday. Today is April 7th and it's currently 8.30 in the evening and I am at my new desk. I built this desk today. Well, I bought it <laughs> and then I built it with the directions, but I got a new desk. I got a new chair. It's so cute. It's so nice and organized. I'm really like excited to study so I thought it was gonna be a good little motivator but um, all we've done today is just run some errands go to Ikea Austin completely changed his like workspace in the ha in the house in the basement as well we got the kids a little something something for their room nothing crazy but um, now I'm like finally working on school stuff I have been like studying on and off in the car these last two days while running all those errands and I'm kind of in a weird spot right now because I just feel okay. Like I feel like there's not much more I could learn in clinical theory. I'm not sitting here saying I should get 100%, but I just like, it's kind of redundant just like going over the same stuff that I feel like I know pretty well. Um, pathology, I've still been studying. But yeah, so right now I'm actually finishing up my objectives for dental materials because we have that lecture tomorrow. And then I'll go back the rest of the evening and study for theory since that exam is tomorrow morning on campus bright and early. Um, so yeah, I'll check back in with you guys later and I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you had a great weekend. It comes tumbling to the ground when she speaks It's a dangerous fantasy Hi guys, happy Monday! Today is April 8th and it's currently 7.17 in the morning. I got to school quite early. My class starts at 8 o'clock. Um, today is my clinical theory third exam. I don't know how to feel because I studied my butt off and pretty much memorized the study guide to the, like, for the most part. I'm pretty positive I know everything off the study guide, but you know, like, maybe not every single thing perfectly. But for some reason, I'm a little nervous for this exam because I just don't know what to expect. Like, I hope I studied the right material. I feel like I say that every exam. 
but it's just the truth like when you go into an exam especially one where you got a study guide you're freaking out about like if you filled it out correctly because you know the study guide would just have like a word or a phrase and then you're filling it out with all the info and then studying that so I just hope that I like wrote down all of the info correctly but yeah so I'm here and I'm actually going to go inside and study my quizlets until eight o'clock so that's why I got here early um, after that we are staying for dental materials lecture so I will see you guys after that class and let you know how I did uh, on my exam wish me luck and I hope that you guys have a great Monday and I'll talk to you later Hi guys, so I did just get my exam updated and I ended with an 88% on today's clinical theory exam. So that's exciting. I'm really proud of myself. The only grade left is our final. Okay, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. It's currently 10 42 in the morning and I just parked outside of my seamstresses building because I have a wedding dress fitting today. Today is my last one before I pick up my dress in a few weeks, which is super exciting. I I'm just like in shock that it's all happening so fast. Um, and then the rest of my day, I'm just going to go home and study for my oral pathology exam. That's tomorrow morning. Um, I'll bring you guys along on my little study day because I was getting quizzed by Austin last night at the gym. It was Monday is cardio day. So we were like on the bikes and he was quizzing me. And there are just a few topics that I really need to nail um, to feel confident on this exam tomorrow. And yeah. So I'm going to go in and try on my wedding dress and hopefully I love it. Um, and then I'll go home and study all day because pretty girls are smart. Okay, I'm going to stop talking, stop rambling. I'm going to go inside and I will let you guys know how it goes afterwards. I hope that you have a wonderful Tuesday. Hi guys, I just got done with my last dress fitting. The next time I pick it up, they're going to package it into my suitcase and they said I can bring my daughter's dress and that they would add hers in there too, which is great. I just need to um, message our resort's wedding coordinator and make sure that they have a steamer because I'm a need one. But other than that, everything was absolutely perfect. Um, the hem is wonderful with my heels, so I'm a little nervous about what's going to happen if I decide to take my heels off, which knowing myself like I'm going to, so I need to figure that out, but it is perfect with my heels, and um, they showed me how to do the bustle. I'm going to need to like take a video of that next time, though, because no one's coming with me to these appointments, and I'm going to need someone to help me do it, so hmm. Yeah, gonna need to take a video of that next time. But other than that, I did a little twerk test. The vibes are it. The dress is perfect for a little twerking. So get me on the beach, get me to marry my man. I am ready. <sighs> but yeah, now I'm gonna go home and spend the day slaving away and studying oral pathologies. That's how my morning has been. I'm gonna head home now and I will talk to you guys in a little bit.
Okay, I just got done with the oral pathology exam and I thought that that was one of the hardest exams. I mean, that was definitely the hardest exam in oral path this semester, but I think that was one of the hardest exams I've had this semester, aside from that first perio exam. But um, the grade I got is an 84%, which is fine. It's definitely not something I'm like very proud of, but I also like it's fine. It lowered my overall grade by one percentage point. So I'm glad it's over. Definitely nervous for the final. Hopefully we get a study guide. And I did email my professor asking if she can open this exam because I'd like to see what I got wrong and just confirm things. But um, yeah, that's it. So now I'm going to look at Perio for this week and see how that goes. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Hi guys, happy Thursday. Um, I didn't check in with you guys this morning because I was running a little bit behind and I was waiting for an email to come through and I was like really anxious about it. Um, Austin's leaving right now. Um, so today I had clinic and I had two of the most beautiful, funny, amazing patients ever. I thought I would introduce them to you guys. So, hi. <laughs> um, I got to take care of Dimitri and Jordan got to take care of Katya and we did a whole pedo patient in one clinic session. It went really well. Dimitri's plaque index score was 6% which is decent and like I'm proud of it um, and then I made a mistake and when it was time to like debride and polish I went in and I scaled every tooth and my faculty ended up telling me that I actually did not have to do that like you uh, unless there's visible or like prominent calculus you don't have to scale the entire mouth before polishing and I guess I just like didn't realize that this is my first pedo patient so if we learned that in class then I forgot it but now I know so what sucks about that is I was um debriding with a hand with a hand scale and my faculty was like you don't have to do that and then Jordan was like I'm done with Katya so it was just like a little chaotic for a moment because I was like being slow um, but we ended up finishing. Everything was great. We did fluoride polish and I am taking an open chair this afternoon. So I'm actually going home right now. I'm going to take the kids to school and then go home and just like study and hang out the rest of the day. And Demetri, how was your cleaning? Good. Good? I actually liked it with my own mom. Aww, I loved doing your cleaning too, babe. But yeah, so now um, we're gonna go home and I hope that you guys have a great weekend and I'll talk to you later.